welcome back everyone. Uh, my name is Kobe Blue and welcome and this is Boxy Buddy here. Right behind me, up these stairs. Uh, and um we're at our final moments with Simmons, so Simmons is really destined to kill us. Isn't that right, uh Foxy? Yeah, yeah. We gotta get to that he, he just he won't die. And the sooner no. the better. And he's really annoying and kinda of spoopy, I guess, in a way. And spoopy. Until he reveals his final form. <laughs> Helena. I only have three bars of health. Up you go. What is that? Ew. Ah, jeez. Oh, Yeah, hurry, he's Guys. spitting fucking spit wads at me. Hey, Rock, huh? Okay. Ew, what? Get away, get away. Why is this a thing? Supposed to be Resident working. Evil. I've got your back. Not Mothman, all the Moth memes are gonna be coming. To life as we speak right now. Oh god, that hurt. What hit me? Buddy. Buddy. Elena, what's going on? Zambos, that's what's going on. Just give me a fucking second. Hope you like this this amazing feature here in Resident Evil 6. We're switching uh, rapid fire shotgun. This pump shotgun is actually a full auto shotgun. You fool. Okay, he's getting mad. He's getting mad. He's getting mad. He's getting mad. Thanks. I w thought I was not going to like <laughs> actually like block his attack. Hell yeah, give me skill points for this giant Mothman in the sky. Fly, whatever this is. Insect. We'll just say insect. This is bad. We gotta get to the helicopter. Oh god, something tells me this is gonna suck ass. <laughs> oh, whoa. Ah, yes. Just... Doesn't die. When I first played this, I was so disappointed in the boss. I know, I was too. It's like the fly. All right, we need to ground this asshole. Going to use airborne. We're not going anywhere in that chopper. Make it a clean shot. So this boss is kind of annoying. He's not hard, but you have to be sure that there are no zombies. Yeah, because look, you see, he just takes this lightning rod and presto magico electrocuted. It's like and you can do this one of two ways. You can uh, pop the lightning rod into his head when he's down, or you can stick it into one of these zombies. Make sure there's no more zombies. And then he'll take it when he's beating. There you go. Perfect. Ow. Find any chance you have any first aid spray? Mm, no. Oh, okay. You took the lightning rod anyway. Thank God. 
I'm scared to get up really close and personal with them. Yeah, just give me some incendiary grenades, because that's what I need. Oh god, please! You gotta help me! No! Help! There's a zombie right there! Ow! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> he fucking what? blew a spit wad at me! As soon as I got up! What the fuck? <laughs> I hate this. See, this is what Foxy Matty was talking about. It's annoying. Mainly because I had a little bit of health, but. Alright, let's start this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get it. Yep. You won't die. And you like turning uh, zombies into ro uh, Roblox. The Rubik's cubes. Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's two. Oh, that's two. Yeah, I love. I, okay, I love. Uh, I love Roblox when I was a kid. I I never played with the, either Legos nor Roblox. Take the bait. Take it. Hell yeah, you did it. This guy won't die. He takes lightning strikes. Oh god, there's zombies everywhere. Took the bait. Nice. We only we only have to do this what three times? Like every every boss. The magic number. Let me carry this. Wait, let me let me carry this. Oh oh, hold on. I'm having trouble here. Oh, let me, hold on, hold on, zombie. Give, give give me a second here. All right. See, I timed that perfectly. He tried to shoot me, but he missed. And he missed. And he missed. Stop shaking the camera around. You're making me nauseous. Are you okay? I'm good. Oh god, oh god, please, no. I don't want to be gooped on. Oh god, this 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 part is so anticlimactic. No! Aim for attack! Oh, what'd you just do? Oh. You need to pick the lightning rod. You better. You better? Good. There we go. Ha ha. You think you would have learned by now to not take the lightning rod? Or it's a zombie that has it's penetrated by. You fool! Oh god. Problem is at this point, Simmons has lost his mind. He's no longer Simmons. He's a fly person. Head for the chopper. You know, kinda like bird person, but a fly. But a fly, you know, he's just there. What? You see what you see what <laughs> I did there? Rick and Morty reference. Oh yeah. I forgot about Rick and Morty. I really 
Wait a minute. You see this here? Mm -hmm. Why is there a rocket launcher at the end of outside of the helicopter? Oh, well, it's just it's just for emergencies. There's the emergency. Oh, is this is this considered oh, a, an emergency? I don't know. Would you consider a giant fly person? This looks like the mosquitoes in Texas during the summertime. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> What the fuck happened? <laughs> My rocket launcher just imploded on me, I guess. I think I walked in front of you. On accident. I didn't oh. even see you. Ooh. Ooh. After all the bullets, yeah. we shot into him. Got ran over by a subway train. That's the thing I don't get. All the, like, ran struck over by, by a train. Struck <laughs> by lightning. Bullet fire. Shot to death. <laughs> and being impaled is the thing that kills him. Ooh, great symbolism here. It's the umbrella logo. If any of you degenerates that are watching don't know, by now, that's the umbrella logo. Also, Ooh. that's a lot of blood. <laughs> yeah, for one person. For my sister. Come on. What were the Stay last five child. times you, you tried to kill him? All right, let's get out of here. No, we're blowing me up. Okay. <laughs> we're we're back. We don't have a rocket launcher. <laughs> That. Is that Anus? I don't know, is it? Hold that. You can have the makeup. I want this. I don't need the makeup at all. Look, it's Corno all the. Oh. It's all the this proof. Evidence that proves Simmons' guilt. Which means it will prove your innocence. Our innocence. I don't believe it. Lena. Stop being broody, that's my job. Good news, Leon. We found a way to defeat the virus. No! Oh, well, hold on, again. We gotta get out of here. Way back. See you soon. Let's go. It's like someone's watching us. <laughs> Maybe I just want to go back and see if Simmons is actually dead over the uh, edge. Hell yeah, look at this. We did it. And we somehow have enough gas to get all the way back to the United States. We don't want to take another plane to the U.S. Oh, they can all... Oh, they can no. crash again! You don't know that! Oh, man. Uh, that was... That's Leon's story. That was Leon's campaign. Uh, it was... It, it was a great... Great campaign. Um, I personally think. In a way. Up until yeah, it, China, honestly, I guess. Out of all, yeah, honestly, uh, out of all of them, Leon's is... A lot more fun. Um, has a little more scares in it, at least in the beginning. But then uh, you get to China, it starts feeling. Yeah, uh, you get some vibe feels. <laughs> yeah, you you start seeing some, you know, mixtures of a, uh, you know, Resident Evil Five in a, in a way. Well, I guess not really. You know, we, we don't really encounter that much. We don't encounter a Chihuahua at all. The zombies. 
But in case you don't know what a Jawavo is, you'll find out. You'll find Just... out in our next uh, story, which is Chris's. Oh god. <laughs> AKA. And don't get us started on Chris's. Call of Duty. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Leon's campaign out of all three of them, like Foxy said here, uh, that uh, it really did stick out. It really did have this, its spook, spooky moments and stuff like that. And it kind of felt kind of like its own Resident Evil game if it was just there, I guess. Maybe if they added a little bit more cutscenes, a little bit more story and stuff like that, it could have been its own Resident Evil game. But, um, you know, later, whenever we finish the rest of the other campaigns at the end, you know, like right now with the credits rolling, um, we'll, we'll give our opinions on, you know, the story. So, that we finished. As far as how the character development goes, as far as this campaign goes, I do like Leon's character. He's the same as you remember him from like Resident Evil 4. You know, I, excuse me. I always heard in Resident Evil 2, he was a little more wary uh, because he was a rookie cop and he'd never seen anything like what happened in Raccoon City. So by the time 4 hits, he's kind of dull to it in a sense and even more so in six but there was a lot more tragedy in in this so you definitely saw him kind of crack between uh you know the president dying helena losing deborah and losing simmons Ada. being the one behind it yeah which i, I kind of wish because everyone knows it's there right i mean you'd be you'd be silly not to think that there isn't anything you know, that Capcom's trying to form between Ada Wong and Leon Kennedy. Right. And, uh, I mean, they go way back. <laughs> oh, yeah, way back to Resident Evil 2, you know? And, which, we're really excited for the Resident Evil 2 remake, so... I'm gonna need to not have this image right here as we're trying to talk seriously. I'm gonna need it erased. <laughs> Yeah, the tent monster, one of the, not my favorite enemy in this game. And it's one of my not favorites. There's oh, plenty oh, shit. of I, enemies I that are bad. I didn't realize that Laura Bailey did Helena Harper, nor did I realize that Troy Baker did Jake. I'm an idiot. <laughs> How did I not see that? I love Troy Baker and Laura Bailey. <laughs> Get this fucking tit monster out of my face while I'm talking about my favorite voice actors. <laughs> it is hanging on there too fucking long. Oh, we, our most least favorite, obviously, our least favorite, my tit monster, our least favorite enemy, and it's a mini boss, was the tit monster in this campaign. Don't like it. It spits fucking no. that blue fart cloud at you. It stuns you. It can instantly grab you and kill you in one one go. There you go. That's one of it's my. It's definitely some uh, what is it called? Tryptophobia, whatever the one is, where they're afraid of holes. Mhm. Mm definitely some feels there. <laughs> what was your out of out of Leon's campaign here? Um, what was your least? What was your favorite boss? Obviously like boss boss you said it was Simmons right yeah Simmons is definitely my favorite he gets a little repetitive I guess after a while um, I would say up till the part where he's fly that's where he's pretty fun he gets a little scarier when he's like the t-rex thingy uh, but he was still kind of fun in that aspect and of course I had to make Jurassic Park jokes because it's a T-Rex and I'm a loser for Jurassic Park. <laughs> but he was really fun to play as, or uh, to go up against, uh, because he, he was obviously going to be the final boss considering you find out that he was the one behind all that was going on with the C-Virus and all that, along with Ada, supposedly, um, but it, I don't know. I don't. I can't really explain what it is because this, because the game as as a whole, especially with Leon's, there wasn't too terribly much behind it. 
you find out very early that that Simmons is actually the bad guy. He's not just the chief security director or whatever the frick he is. Mm -hmm. my, Fucking bolo tie, motherfucker. <laughs> my my least favorite uh, like version of him, whenever he you know out of his transformations, I feel like you know when he turns into like a giant like moth fly or whatever, I'm like really. You yeah. Know, he he could have did a little bit better. I mean, like don't be wrong. It's fun and it's it's fun, kind of annoying ish in its own way. But I feel like, I feel like it could have been a lot more serious because you know we had the tiger transformation on the on the subway train and then we had the. Uh, what are, and then he transformed to something else, I think, and then, um... Yeah, some kind of tiger crane thing, I don't know what the fuck you would call that. Mm -hmm. And then the T-Rex is kind of scary, and then it's like, Moth! Oh, shit. Not really serious. <laughs> Resident Evil dot Dying net. Fly. It's like fucking eight-legged freaks. <laughs> Resident Evil net dot net, I haven't heard about that website in a long time. In fact, Resident Evil dot net actually launched when this, this game launched, so... I use it a little a bit. Lot. Not a lot, but um, but yeah, um, that was Leon's campaign, and we will be recording obviously the other uh, other campaigns, and we're going to be doing Chris Chris's campaign next. So, and there is a little epilogue to Leon's story if the credits ever finish, which we're. We're to the scene with Chris and Leon, so we're getting there. Um, I feel like if, Re if Leon's story was a little more like Resident Evil 4, because I mean, with Resident Evil 4, it still had its needlessly actiony moments, but it had a lot more survival horror, and that's what made Resident Evil 4 so great. The story and the voice acting and Ashley, <laughs> not so good, <laughs> but. Not so, well, not so good, but overall the game has been remastered so many times, and I, I love 4. Like, uh, like there's some flaws in it, it's not perfect, you know, not any game out there is perfect. But, like, I really enjoyed 4, like, a lot, and if you guys want to check my out my playthrough on it, it will be um, on, on my channel. It's all organized, and I have different playlists. Um, I played that, uh, keep in mind that I had like a shitty microphone at the time, so it sounds a lot different than this, uh, than this microphone right now, but uh, yeah, um, I also did that, and I also did Resident Evil 5 with Foxy here uh, last year, I cannot believe it's been a year, but... I know, it doesn't feel like it was a year ago. You guys can check that, that, that like out too. That was like before the move and all that. Alright. Just cause productions, that just says it all about the game. <laughs> just cause. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in Chris's campaign shortly. It's it's the credits, oh my god, all these oh. people work oh. on me for this game. Where is Damn. the epilogue? Stop it! Just show the audience the epilogue! Wow, Come the on, credits. We're at 23 minutes. Credits. Come the, on. The orchestra is really kicking up, right? Oh my god! So intense! <laughs> Thank you for playing. Thank you for playing. We definitely wanted to uh, start with Leon's campaign, though, because it is one of the better ones, and at the beginning, at least, it's more spooky appropriate for Halloween. At least. And then we hit China. Okay, we get it, Capcom. Shoo. Shoo. Yeah. Show the epilogue. Show what happens to Leon and Helena. I don't care about your loading screen. There it is. I really hope those clothes were washed. <laughs> I forgot about this at the end. Yeah, there's one for each story. Thank you. I'm ready.
actually assisted in the attack. The investigating commission have reviewed the evidence and feel it unjust to hold you liable for Simmons' crime. They will also not be disclosing their findings to the public. But the president would have done the same. Don't argue, just accept it. All right. Shall we go join the team? The only time in Resident Evil history that you'll see Hunnigan walking. <laughs> For the next time you see her. And don't fuck it up this time. <laughs> <laughs> Women. <laughs> Leon, you're surrounded by them. Ever yeah, and ladies love Leon a lot. Ooh, I mean, that... he is. Yeah, I, I, I can agree. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> no matter if he gets his head chopped off by a chainsaw or anything yeah. like that, hair is always the same. <laughs> Hair always stays fabulous. <laughs> nice. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around and listening to us babble and stuff like that, but that, that cutscene was kind of important at the end. But oh, yeah. anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in Chris's campaign next. See y'all later. Bye. Bye bye.